Hey guys, oh, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I just want to give you guys an update regarding my RX 480 rig, eight gigabyte cards. I've actually put it off for a week or so, but now I'm finally going to figure out the hash rates. And I want to figure it out in Windows because I want to try it out in Claymore version 15, which has the, you know, dash strap one, two, three, four, five or six. And, you know, I just want to figure out which strap would be good on these RX 478 gigabyte cards and I just basically want to test the limits. I will have this rig on Linux eventually. I did have it on MMPOS. You guys may have saw that first video when I essentially built this rig and uh, MMPOS is actually really good but you know I just want to test it out in Windows just so I can see you know what the hash rates will be using Claymore 15. I'm just so used to you know dash strap dash RX boost. I know those commands like RX boost will work in Linux but I know straps won't work in Linux but there is AMD MemTweak and you know I haven't really figured out how to use AMD MemTweak very well but I think MMPOS has it locked down for AMD cards but like I said I just want to test it out in Windows first and see what kind of hash rates we get all that kind of stuff so enough jibber jabber I'm just gonna install Windows on one of these SSDs I actually got a whole bunch of these King Diane SSDs I don't know if some of you guys have ever used these before but let me know down below if these are any good they were really cheap and uh, I'm suspecting them to not be really good so we will see 120 gig SSD SSD from King Diane. I got these on Amazon essentially. All right, so I will see you guys in the computer and uh, we'll see what kind of hash rates we can achieve with these cards. Oh, and don't forget, link in the description for the 2000 watt power supply giveaway. You guys just have to follow that link and follow the entries that you have to participate in. Hey guys, all right, so I have done quite a bit of testing on these RX 470s and I think I found the right overclock settings or undervolt settings I need to essentially just run these cards mining Ethereum. I've done a bunch of different tests here and in case you guys don't want to watch the rest of the video, feel free to check the description below and I have all of these numbers in the description there. You can just check it out there if you don't want to watch me, I understand. To begin, you guys know I have RX 470 8 gigabyte cards and these are the mining specific cards with Hynix memory. Okay, I verified that with Tech Power App. I can actually open it up here just to show you guys that these do have Hynix memory. So you can see here GDDR5 Hynix and I can verify on the rest of them here. They'll say Hynix as well, but you can see Hynix, okay? All of them are Hynix. I'm running a 1000 watt EVGA P2 power supply, Gigabyte Z270P-D3 motherboard, coupled with an Intel G3930 processor, eight gigabytes of DDR4-2400 RAM, and a King Diane 120 gigabyte SSD, which I showed you guys earlier. Okay, now, the main thing that I've been testing on these Sapphire 478 gigabytes, and mind you, they are all stock BIOS, is you know I'm using Claymore version 15 and I'm using these straps one through six. I've tested the straps one through six. So you can see here, that was the first test that I did. I did strap one, two, three, four, five, six. And essentially I did the same overclocks and undervolt on these cards, but you can see here, it looks like the best strap is dash strap one for these Hynix memories. Okay, so basically what the straps are, it basically injects memory timings into the cards, thus getting better hash rates. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Another thing to note for you guys that I'm using with the stock BIOS is Overdrive end tool 0.29. And actually just recently they released a new version, not too long ago, just recently, June 14th of 2020. And apparently they fixed the driver issue or something not installed on version 20.5.1 or newer. Okay, so apparently that pretty much works now with the latest versions of uh, the AMD driver. So you can see here 2.5.1. I'm actually using 20.4.2, okay, the recommended one. Seems to be working well. I haven't had any issues. And uh, link in the description below for the Overdrive end tool in case you guys want to try this out. This is probably one of my favorite tools to use on Windows. A funny thing to note, which I will explain later, I think these cards, because they're not BIOS modded, they are voltage locked. So I can only go down like 800 millivolts or uh, I tried 650. I think realistically only 800 is the lowest I can go on these. But yeah, I'll, I'll talk about that later. So I showed you guys about the dash straps, uh, which ones I've tested and one through six. So essentially number one is what I'm gonna be using for the rest of the tests that I did here. Now going on test number seven, okay, dash strap one, RX boost 30, 1200 core. All right, so this is the next one that I did. Instead of 1150 core, I did 1200 core. So only raising the core about 50 only gave me another 0. 
1.2 mega hash, which is really not that much. Looking at the like efficiency here, it's at the same it's the same power consumption at the wall. Okay, uh, but going along test number eight, I did the same thing, but I lowered the millivolts on the core and the memory. Still, we were able to get 31.3 mega hash, but it showed the same power consumption. Test number nine, we did 830 millivolts and same thing with the memory, 830, same mega hash number, but we dropped three watts at the wall for each GPU, for each of these 470s. And uh, I, I thought that was pretty good, but that was like, hey, let's keep going down. So I did 820, as you guys can see here, got 31.2 mega hash. So lost about 0 0.01 mega hash across the board for all the cards. And uh, power consumption stayed the same. Now, test number 11, I did 810 millivolts and then uh, 810 and then it crashed. It wouldn't work after that. I did another test, number 12 here, you guys can see, I tried 1000 core, 775 millivolts, uh, 2100 memory and 820. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention is uh, 2100 memory is the maximum I can go. Every time I tried to go like a little bit higher, like 110 or 2150 or something, 2140, 2150. This Overdrive N2 would give me an error and it would say uh, something is locked, uh, driver locked or something. So I think it's because I need to BIOS mod these in order to really unlock it. Uh, but let me know down below if you guys think that's that could be an issue. Anyways, going along, 1000 core, 7755. I tried this, but I only got 27.5 mega hash. But the power consumption did go down to about 101 watts at the wall. And then number 13, I tried up to 800 millivolts and uh, kept everything else the same. And still, I was getting 27.5 mega hash, 101 watts at the wall. So these numbers here, like the millivolts, 775 and 800, I feel like it's capped at 800 millivolts. This didn't really do anything going to 775. You guys can see here, I actually did try doing 650 earlier and it didn't do anything. I think as I was doing 800 millivolts or 810 and going up higher, it made a difference. So I believe 800 is the lowest I can go on the core for the stock BIOS, okay? Um, but then going along, you guys can see number 14, test number 14, I did RX Boost 30, 1100 core, 775 millivolts, 2100 memory, 820 millivolts, and we got 30.1 mega hash at 108 watts. And then going along, you guys can see I did more testing tuning down the millivolts, but it really didn't go down that much in terms of power consumption. We'd probably drop the watt every time we dropped the memory millivolts. Looking, looks like the core millivolts didn't do anything. I, I'm Like I said before, it, I think it's capped at 800 millivolts. Test number 18, we did 1120 core. Uh, this is when the mega hash started going up to 30.5 30 and uh, we got 106 watts, pretty much the same as uh, this test number here, 106 watts. So it looks like this one was much better. Uh, all we did basically was up the core and then going along uh, number 19 yeah pretty much the same and then uh, number 20 again we only upped the core another 10 and we got another 0.2 mega hash at 106 watts so same power consumption looks like this is nice uh, going along now this is the final tests that I did I think uh, these ones ultimately were the best now test 21 we did 1150 core 650 millivolts which obviously but it's capped at 800 but it still worked anyway uh, 31.1 mega hash 107 watts at the wall and then you can see here test number 22 we did 1150 core same thing 800 millivolts 2100 memory 800 millivolts same thing as the test 20, 21 i just wanted to verify and it's it's, it's the exact same thing 31.1 mega hash at 107 watts at the wall okay uh, in the software you guys can see right now this is the settings that i'm actually using right now she's let me just verify that yeah um, actually no i'm doing 21 here but it it's the same as test number 22. And then I did another test on 23 here. I just up the millivolts up another 10 and the power consumption went up another three watts per GPU, all right? So yeah, like I said, it's capped or I can't go any lower than 800 millivolts. And yeah, this the, these t three tests right here confirm that okay so so yeah i mentioned here mv on the core changeable 800 didn't seem to matter maybe locked in the bios uh maybe i'll try to figure that out later how to unlock the voltage or something on these thinking i i'll have to do bios modding on these so but anyways guys that's the test that i did i the one that i have starred here is the one i'm probably going to be using for now 
And uh, yeah, I'm doing this in Windows, obviously. The reason why is because the test for me, I can do it a lot faster than in Linux. I hate waiting for, you know, the Linux thing. You put in the overclocks and it has to restart the miner and uh, have to wait for it on the web GUI. I, I just like doing it in Windows because I'm just used to it and I like seeing it like this, like really fast versus Linux. But I know Linux is great for mining, okay? So I will have another video. I'm gonna put these on Linux eventually and then I will figure out a BIOS mod situation for these cards as well as uh, possibly getting lower than 800 millivolts. Then we can save even more power, okay? It's like 66 watts in the software, but you know, realistically at the wall, it shows 107 or 100 watts at the wall. Yeah, but yeah, you guys can see the whole rig right now is 512, 500 watts at the wall. I, I forgot to mention that the idle system wattage is 80, okay? So actually, if we close this, yeah, so you guys can see the power consumption sitting at idle is about 80 to, yeah, it's jumping everywhere, but averaged around 80 watts for me. Okay, guys, so let me know what you think. I appreciate you all for watching, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. I will definitely work on these cards, uh, getting them BIOS modded and unlocked and uh, getting them on Linux or something. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, and peace out.